Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and a warm welcome from the Wigwam, Whitley Bay, as the Warriors are back on home ice, taking on the Solway Sharks. I'm Adam Matman, and joining me for this one is Dan Cooper. Dan, well, it's been a while since we worked together, but welcome back. It has, it has, just a little bit, but thank you very much. I'm very much looking forward to this one. I have been all week. Yeah, this is the first real test the Warriors are going to have this season. Obviously, uh, if you took the, the three EPL teams out the equation, the Sharks have been the best team in this league for the last three years, so they're kind of a team the Warriors need to be measuring up against, aren't they? Yeah, definitely, and the Sharks obviously have lost a few players this year, as Ross Murray's come to us. Uh, the few of them have got to the Leeds Chiefs, so I was very confident coming into this, um, but seeing the, you know, the Sharks prove that they are still capable of doing damage against Nottingham, so... Indeed, yeah. And Callum Watson digs it out the corner to Queenan, over to Phil Edgar, back to Queenan, and then to Edgar three of the fastest moving skaters on this line and then Bowie is open here he's been well that was good defending in the end by Harley just put him off but that shot flashed wide that's a warning sign because he's very much one of the danger men for the Sharks isn't he and uh, Edgar flicks it back in he'll give chase Thompson will sweep up and gets it across to Gapper but he can't control it comes back into the uh, danger zone that's tipped back in by Callum Watson and the Sharks struggling to get it out their zone at the, this time but here come the Warriors again with Harley, flicks it back to Edgar who fires and then Stenton in the end who really put his body on the line just to flick that one away from danger. And then Smedley doing all he can to try and keep it inside that blue line but he couldn't and the Sharks are away and it's across to Bowie but well cut out by Roland's Greetons. The big Latvian was no way was that puck going to get past him there. Comes loose now for Phil Edgar. Takes it behind the net, he will carry it out, he will go for the long stretch pass for Callum Queenan to run onto, he will get there first, so no danger of ice, he gets a shot away, caught Russell a little bit, uh, it's still goalless here at the Wigwam as Holland looking to get it back to a point to Craig Johnson, winds one up, fires, Russell spills a rebound, it's in, it's in the back of the net, David Longstaff scores, scratch by back with a hacksaw, it's 1-0 Warriors. Absolutely brilliant there, attacking on the rebound. Bob is exactly where he needs to be to put that away. Same as he was last week. Amazing. Johnny on the spot, yeah. I mean, it, it's great to see him score again. Of course, he got the uh, the record for the first player to score in 30 consecutive seasons last weekend. It took him, well, till the second half of last season to get the goal, at least first goal last year. But uh, it's a bit earlier, is it? Houston then will gather, looks to try and carry this one out here. He's got Campbell who's going to cut across here. And then Dan Pye will go past them both, or will he? No, Pye will ease him into the boards. And then it comes back out for Houston, he'll fire. Good save by the Noswell, saw it late. He was screened a little bit there. It, as that one comes in, Callum Watson has to cycle back out the zone because he's in an offside position. Just under a minute to go in this opening period. And lovely pass by Watson to Queen and Queen and back to Watson. And then the follow-up shot from Edgar. Tried to sweep that one home. Gapper slips it forward to uh, Stenton. Sorry, Houston, who carries it forward. And then Craig Johnson will... Blaster clearance down, forces Russell to play it, bouncing puck slightly, and then he's blasted it his own man, Jordan Barnes, with a follow-up shot, but he couldn't really uh, get that one away. He sends it around the boards for Dean Holland to flick on, and then Craig Johnson will clear it, tries to pick out David Longstaff, and he has his one-on-one, -on -one. can he finish? Oh, he shoots it, just drags it wide, but a great position that Longstaff found himself in there, and then Campbell fires, comes off the pads. Maybe he'll have to ask one of his sons how to finish a, a shot like that, but uh, great opportunity for Lovey. All joking aside, as uh, Campbell will dig it out the corner to Longstaff. Tries to wrap around and he scored! David Longstaff scores! And he's beaten the goalie like a rented mule with a beautiful sweep home there. I don't believe that, that was amazing. Having missed that one on one to then score with an audacious wow. effort like that, what a finish! Once again, he's uh, doing a good job out there, he's cramming, just forcing the Sharks players to uh, make a mistake. And then it's brought back full for Gappa, who fires. The Noswell got the pads down low, made the smart stop. And then that one bounced, I think, it bounced behind the goal, or was it behind uh, behind, Cram uh, behind Lawson? But uh, either way, it was just behind and didn't go in. Perhaps, yeah, there could have been another couple of penalties called, but I'll, uh, I'll take that as uh, collateral damage if it means we get a more flowing game, which, of course, we have so far, and it's been a, a joy to watch as Dan Pye gets it out the zone. And then Dean Holland, he takes a shoulder high up in the face there as Crane finishes his hit. Heisken and scores! And the Finn has just cut the uh, Warriors' lead in half here, and that is why you don't give him space like that, because he's just unleashed a rocket of a shot there as Heisken. Yeah, that was a cracking shot. Absolute snipe by him. And 
top corner. Richie didn't have much chance getting that. Tonner, and he's holding off Longstaff as he tried to set up Harley. Harley going for cutback. Campbell will fire. Came off the pad of Russell. Back into play. Campbell once again to Longstaff. Longstaff, maybe can he get the shot away? He can, he's got a hat trick! He scored a hat trick. I've seen that fish before. It's Warriors three, Sharks one. I, I, I honestly don't know what to say about that. I'm lost. But well, he's rolling back for years this evening, isn't it? As, you know, three just, goals for his team. I mean, you know, he's a, he's a legend. There's no two ways about it. He's a legend. But Henderson with a quick break here, slips in Lewis Houston. Maddock trying to put his man off, and uh, Houston. Did lose his footing, but still kept control of the puck. Henderson back into the area, but uh, Gapper couldn't really get a clean connection on it. And he just stabbed it wide, but I think Lawson had that one covered anyway. Maddock trying to get it out the zone. Campbell having to evade the referees uh, to get it out, which he does. And then Longstaff, who's uh, be looking for goal number four this evening, sends it across to Campbell. Fires, came off the either a block or a knob of a stick of uh, Russell's stick there. And then it's come back out for Pi to gather. Just over 10 minutes left in this third and final period. So Warriors three shots one. As the Warriors looking to get it out, and the hair scored. And there's a bit of uh, there's a bit of a delay there in, in a reaction from the Warriors defence. It just seemed to stop, and Hair just sort of put nice in thought, Well, I'm having that, and just fired home as uh, the Warriors defence was like statues there. Yeah, we've been punished for that mistake there. I think there was a bit of confusion between the players and. The, the opportunity was there and he's they've taken it so it's, it's a close game again it really is it's now Warriors three Sharks two so uh, once again Solway not going away comes over for Horn Tonner he'll get the clearance once again and Houston can't quite control Maddock will find that one in Russell leaving his crease but couldn't quite gather it in either so we'll leave it for Carl Horn Horn across to Tonner Maddock keeping it back in and Campbell behind the net See if he can do some work from back there. Holland's going back post. He's open if he can get it to him. But in the end, Holland just has to shuffle the puck back to Harley. Bit of a tame effort as Russell pads that one away. And then scramble in front of the net as Campbell trying to get it away. But Carl Horn just uses one of those sizable arms just to keep him away from goal there. Stenton, sorry, Houston couldn't gather. Back with the Warriors. Jordan Barnes flicks it back to Maddock. Bit of a risky move, but I think he thought it was best to keep the puck in possession of the Warriors and away from the Sharks. Tonner collects it right on the red line. And then he's fired. Stuart Tonner's tied it up here. And the Sharks, having been two goals down, have now tied things up. It was a bad giveaway. And somebody with Stuart Tonner's experience was always going to punish that. Yeah, it was, it was a nasty bit of play. It was dumping it back into our own zone wasn't, uh, wasn't the smartest idea. But again, like you say, try and keep possession. But to give it to someone like Tonner in that kind of room is going to pull it away. And that's exactly what he did. He's a well experienced. He's the captain of the Sharks. And with four minutes 26 to go, it's now Warriors free, Sharks free. And then Gapper in front of a Warriors bench. Edgar forward to Watson. Watson will carry it through. Can he get the shot away? No, he's been eased away by Carl Horn. And then it sat nicely in the high slot, but nobody there to fire that one home. Back come the shots with Gapper. And then the shot deflects off Dan Pye. He did well just to get a leg in the way of that and block a beat. Across. And then that falls nicely for the Finn. Heiskanen as he carries it in, but then it won't sit for him and it just sort of evaded his stick and that allows the Warriors to come back. Now David Longstaff, has he got one more trick up his sleeve? Picks out Ben Campbell who fires. Ah, oh, then the, the turn pass, but Stenton just got back and almost on the line just block Lobby's shot and that would have been his fourth goal of the evening 40 seconds to go cleared by the Sharks as far as Smedley who fires comes back off the goalie Russell and then back into play 30 seconds to go still Warriors three Sharks three Sharks have battled back well here to uh, presumably get at least a point and uh, Henderson meeting the Warriors sandwich there is a heavy collision at centre ice Tonner gets it back, drops it back in. Greetown's coming across to Henderson. And then Callum Watson, can he get away? One last push for the Warriors. Ten seconds to go across to Ross Murray. What a finish that would have been if he could have scored the winner there. But it's not to be. Is It's the Sharks with one final push. Ian Bowie, he will not get there ahead of Phil Edgar. And that will do it then. 
we've just reset the mics. They're brand new mics as well, so uh, no excuses. So the Warriors are going to go with Dean Holland, Ben Campbell and Harry Harley, but it's the Sharks who come out with it. Stenton fires, deflected off Harley, I think, and away from goal. Lawson was readying himself for the, the save, but Dean Holland looking to get it past his man. Kerr is out on the ice, and Ben Campbell will try and go around his man, but once again, sweeper keeper Russell is out there straight away. Stenton goes around Heiskinen and Dean Holland there. He's up against uh, Craig Johnson there. Quick change by the Warriors then. As uh, Ben Campbell trying to get away. Oh, sorry, Jordan Barnes even. Presumably you'd want to keep Ben Campbell out on the three on three for as long as he possibly can. Jordan Barnes behind the net, behind the plate. And then Carl Ross out there as well. He keeps it in the zone. Across to Roland's Greetowns, but he's too far out wide. And then Jordan Barnes, three times again. Will he get a shot away? Fires, good glove save over by Russell. And the first minute, it was almost done in overtime. As uh, Gappers out there for Solway as well. So uh, presumably both teams are uh, committing an offence if that was the case. <laughs> as uh, Watson gets it back. Sorry, uh, no, it was Ben Richards, in fact. Ben Richards across to Greetans, and now to Phil Edgar. Edgar around his man, Solway chops trying to shrink the ice here. Greetans going to fire straight into the logo, though, but uh, it was a good effort all the same. As Callum Queen is going to take this draw for the Warriors now up against Lewis Houston. It's Houston who comes out with it, picks out Kerr. Stuart Tonner is the other man. He's uh, the player who tied it up for the Sharks at 3-3, the captain, who's... Uh, Save. Spent the majority of his career as a forward, but converted back to a D-man last season. And he's playing there again this year. Queening can't control, and Tonner's got the break on here. He's one-on-one -on -one here with Harry Harley. Harley's going to have to go with him. Great defending by him, but he can only find it clear it as far as Houston. Good save by Lawson on the follow-up. And then the Warriors looking to get that fast break, but just couldn't. Just over three minutes left. Carl Ross with the shot, fires, and it's bounced off Russell. Russell lost it temporarily there, but it just sat in the crease, but he still had the time to clear it before the on-rushing Ross nearly collected his own rebound. David Longstaff, he's first shift in overtime. Could he have a final say in this? Could he get his fourth goal of the evening and single-handedly win the game for the Warriors? Long clearance by the Warriors here, but uh, Lewis Houston will gather. Stenton flicks on, and that's played in. Henderson, Henderson's fired. Good save by the Noswall. He gave up the rebound, but Henderson had carried on his run, so it allowed the Warriors to sweep it clear. And then back up the other way comes Phil Edgar, centres it to Longstaff, couldn't control. Heiskinen will now gather. Two minutes 20 to go in overtime. Heiskinen carrying it forward. Out wide to Henderson, back towards goal, but it was behind the net. No real immediate danger, but it's still with Heiskinen. Can he get his shot away? Johnson sticking to him like glue. And then... Uh, that was cleared by Henderson, not the best of passes as Heisken and uh, had to move the other side of the rink to get to it. But of course, three on three hockey enables much more space for the teams to work with. And now Jordan Barnes has been released with a great pass by Harley. Then the shot, bit of a tame effort, allows Russell to make the save. One minute 40 to go in overtime. Gapper will cycle it back round with Jordan Barnes keeping with him, keeping the four check going and the pressure on. One minute 20 to go now. Uh, Ian Bowie out on the far side, slips it forward to Gapper. Gone round his man, can he finish? No, he's eased away. Good work by Ben Campbell. There's probably a question of maybe did he trip him on the way through. And then Bowie, can he win it? No, it's a little bit loose. The nozzle made the save and now the Sharks are scrambling to try and get it back towards goal. They're still with the Sharks and then the shot just flicks wide from Gapper. Great opportunity for the Sharks to win it there. Gapper again goes around the man and they've scored. The Sharks have won it. And it's a Slovakian import, Kappa, who wins it for the Sharks. And once again, the Warriors have not won it. They've not got the job done in overtime. And that is a bitterly, bitterly disappointing end to a game that they had well in their grasp at one stage. Yeah, uh, five seconds left on the clock on that as well. That's one minute. Is it one minute five or is it? It's five. I'm not five sure. seconds. Maybe minute five. I minute five left on the clock, yeah, so great comeback by the Sharks. Let's uh, not take anything away from them.